Parrotfish. Parrotfish live in tropical and subtropical reefs. Excuse me, parrotfish? I thought parrots were birds. Can you tell why these fish are called parrotfish, Willow? Ah, because they're brightly colored and their mouths look like beaks. <laughs> it looks as if it's having a nap. It is. Some parrotfish can create a mucus that covers them while they sleep. Is that to keep them warm? Like a blanket? It's actually to stop predators from smelling them. That way, the parrotfish stay safe all night. Willow, did you know that parrotfish make sand? Really? How? First, it eats the coral. Then, the coral is digested. And some of it gets pooped out as sand. <laughs> There's more. Parrotfish can change. Change? They don't wear clothes, do they? Through its life, a parrotfish can change color. Ooh. Females can even change to become male parrotfish. Oh. One fish sleeps in mucus, poops sand, and changes color? Mr. or Mrs. Parrotfish, you are one extraordinary animal. Get ready to... Sea otter! Sea otters float in shallow waters with kelp forests, a type of seaweed. Look at that animal go! You're great at doing the backstroke. That's a sea otter, Gorby. It's a kind of weasel. Sea otters spend almost all of their time in water. Look! That otter is using its tummy as a table! <laughs> yes, Gorby. Otters swim on their backs when they're eating. What else do they do in the water? Would you believe they even sleep there? Do they? Won't they be swept way out to sea when they're asleep? To stop that happening, they hold on to each other or to some seaweed. They have even been seen holding hands in the water to stay together. And after some back snacking and back napping comes some back bathing. Feeding. Great white shark. This shark lives in many coastal areas around the world. This fish is called the great white shark. Great whites have super smell, super sight, and super hearing. When a great white spots its prey, like a seal or a whale, it darts through the water and uses its 300 teeth to make its catch. 300 teeth? I wouldn't want to be that shark's dentist. <laughs> Nor me, Marco. While they have many teeth, they don't even chew. Great whites take big bites and then swallow their food whole. Excuse me? We keep calling it a great white. But they don't look white. Great observation, Marco. Only the bottom of their bellies are white, while the rest of the shark is blue or gray. Wow, the gray white shark truly is a super fish. Get ready to read. Turtle. Baby sea turtles are born on beaches around the world. That's one big baby. <laughs> That's not a baby, Lily. That's a mother sea turtle. 
come to the beach to lay their eggs. Which hatch into sea turtle babies. Yes. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. They stay in the sand until they're ready to hatch. Yes, they're hatching. Babies help each other to dig their way out. Then it's a race to get to the water. Go, baby sea turtles. Wait, why are they racing? Because some animals would like to catch and eat them. Woohoo! You made it. Some of these babies will return to the same beach when they're older to lay their very own eggs. Hmm. The cycle of life. Now let's test your. Orca. Orcas live in oceans all over the world. Orcas are also known as killer whales. Killer whales? Why are they called that? They look quite friendly. The orca gets its nickname because it's fast, it's fierce, and it's a very good hunter. They hunt together in groups called pods. Orcas often work together to catch their food. This way, they can even catch prey that is much bigger than they are. Are they talking to each other? They are. Orcas use echolocation, which helps them communicate in the water. And every pod has its own unique sound. That echolocation sounds like music to me. <laughs> Nice dance moves, Lily. Now, let's test your memory. Whale shark. Whale sharks live in warm, tropical waters. Look at all those fish. Wait. I can see something. What? What is it? Is it a whale or is it a shark? It's a whale shark, and it's the biggest fish in the ocean. Mm. It's a shark, mm. but it's called a whale shark because it's so mm. big. It can grow as long as a bus and weigh as much as four elephants. Mm. Whoa, that's a big mouth. Just like a whale's. You're right. Even though it's a shark, it feeds just like some whales. Does it eat big things or small things? Very small things for its size. Whale sharks open their mouths to gather plankton and small sea animals. Then they filter out the water. It's called filter feeding. This shark is a lot like a whale. Whale shark is a very good name for this fish. Um, um. Let's spell whale shark. W S H H A A A A R K E Whale Shark. 